Now let's take a look at an undercut anchor system. As we move into these higher specification products, the requirement for specific installation becomes a lot higher. One thing to note about all of these systems is that they are systems. These are not just anchors, drill bits and other accessories. There will be a suite of or a fleet of items which will be required to successfully install the product. In this particular case, we will drill the primary hole with a collared drill bit, step drill bit, specific to this anchor. We will then install the anchor and secondarily set the anchor and create the undercut by using this additional tool to drive the undercut mechanism, which in this case consists of obviously the undercut shape, but some cutting teeth embedded in the expansion elements down here. Very specific installation. Let's get into it. Having reviewed the documentation for the product, as well as the approval information and the project specification information, we see that we need to drill a hole in this location that we've already marked. We will drill the hole using the stepped bit to the collar depth clean the hole, place the anchor, then set the anchor using the secondary mechanism. Let's get that started now with the drill bit. Place the anchor over the required location, ensuring we have perpendicularity in both planes and commence drilling. We'll vacuum out the hole. As I said, we get quite specific with the installation of these higher level product. And in this particular case, the cleaning process just calls for a vigorous blowing of the hole. In our case, we use the vacuum. Now, just to confirm that we achieved the correct install depth, let's just see that we bottom out with the shoulder. There it is there. Obviously, it can't have traveled any further. It's bottomed out. Uh, but you will have detected in the drilling process a change in the sound of the drill bit, which indicates when we bottomed out and contacted the surface with the shoulder. So we now have a correctly set drill hole depth. So as per the specification, we place the anchor into the hole. No need for hammer, it drops straight into the hole. The body of the anchor sits proud of the hole at this point. We apply the setting tool onto the anchor and we will now apply both rotation and hammer for 30 seconds to set the anchor. That's actually 15 seconds. Let's take a look. What the installation instruction suggests is it will be a maximum of 30 seconds. What we are needing to look for is approximately, is some of the red indicator proud of the body of the anchor? And the body of the anchor, two to eight millimeters shy of the surface. So in this case, as you can see, we have witnessing of the red indicator above the body and we have the body of the anchor approximately five to six millimetres shy of the surface. 15 seconds, that's a correctly set undercut anchor. 
we can now remove the protective cap from the thread, lay the fixture over the top and torque up in accordance with the instructions, which in this case reflects a torque requirement of 120 newton metres.